Here we're looking at paper birch. It's in the family Betulaceae, in the genus Betula, and the specific epithet is Papyrifera. So the species name is Betula papyrifera. As with many of the birches, one of the distinguishing characteristics is the bark. On paper birch, it's a very white exfoliating bark, which means that the bark will peel off. Here you can see the bark just starting to peel off. Interesting note about the bark, if you peel off just an outer layer without getting in and damaging the tree, this bark will ignite even when wet, which is nice if you're out camping where there's a little bit of bark maybe laying on the ground. As paper birch ages, the bark starts to break into plates and darken significantly in color. The bark on young paper birch, as we see in this young branch, is a coppery color and smooth, and it can be easily mistaken for other birches. Birches are alternately arranged as you move up the twig, and here you can see a fairly typical paper birch leaf, a little bit of a point at the end, and then serrate edges. Here at the end is a preformed catkin that you should expect to see at the uh, sometime in summer or fall. Starts out green, will turn brown, and then these will release pollen again the next year. You can just start to see the terminal bud here, pointed, a uh, little bit imbricate, green turning to brown as we move later into the season. Here are just the beginnings of and the development of the female flowers on paper birch. These happen to be hanging down and you can see this one has already started to disperse some of its seed. They'll start green, turn brown as these are starting to do, and open up and release the seed. Here you can see a little bit of the form of paper birch, although it's more typical to see it with a single stem. In landscapes you might see multi-stemmed birches as an ornamental uh, aesthetic. Paper birch prefers a cooler temperature and where it has roots that are protected from the hot soil. So they don't always do as well in a hot or dry landscape.